Hi! Welcome to another episode of the 8-Bit Retro Refix. And on this week's video, it's the channel's birthday. Yeah! The channel's been going for just over a year now. It was his birthday on the 23rd. Sorry I didn't get around to doing a video straight away for you guys. Um, had a few chit chats. Um, so yeah, the channel's one years old. We've got up to nearly 500 subs. They're thereabouts. Um, it's growing really well. I'm really surprised at how it, well it is doing, to be honest. Um, this week we've got um, Rocky Memphis and the Legend of Atlantis by Cytronics. Another awesome game by Cytronics. Um, we're going to have a playthrough. It's a little, little bit longer than I would have liked. I have sort of a little confession to make. I did switch on the invincibility, and, and that's to help me show you how far. I got with the game and where I got to uh, and what to do to get to that part anyway. So we're going to get on with that. Um, just before we do that I've got a shout from another YouTuber wishing us all happy birthday uh, and that's from Paul Robinson from Retrobate. So I'll put that on for you now. Hi Steve, Paul here from Retrobate and I just wanted to wish your channel a very very happy birthday. Mate, you're doing a cracking job. You're one of my favourite channels to watch. Lots of Commodore 64 in there, which you know I absolutely love. And mate, considering you, you know you're in your first year, you're just up to your first birthday. You've got over 450 subscribers who all absolutely love watching your videos. So a happy birthday, Steve! And here's to another year in the beautiful world of YouTube. <laughs> happy birthday! So thank you very much Paul, thank you for wishing his happy birthday, um, I suppose, the legends of Atlantis, let's get on with it. Right, let's get into this then. I will guide you through, um, let you know what I've found out on the game as we're playing through. So let's go. So we've got this first pile of muck here. And there's a triangular shaped mole. And some here I think as well. A triangular shaped hole. So Atlantis icon, if you switch that, the way to switch things on and off is if you press and hold the fire button um, and then push up, you can see at the bottom there where it says holding, right, it's not changing but you push up and you push up and it changes it to do whatever you need, the item that you're carrying. I'm only carrying one item at the minute so we're not going to be able to show you that yet. So just switch these on, and that's opened us first door. I don't think there's anything in here. You must read all these plugs here. He says he cannot read this at this moment. I don't think there's anything in here. I can't, I can't quite remember. A broken statue, which you can see. Okay. Now, the stop just in front of me, you can see that little grey pad in front of me, that is a switch that will make them spikes come up, so we need to jump over them. In there we found a metal pipe, I'll show you what that's for in a minute. I don't think there's anything else in these rubbish piles. I found a chisel. Chisel on this wall, drops that down. When we go through here, when I pick up here, you'll find a grey stone head which we've just taken off that statue. 
and then we'll put it back on there. Right. Like I was saying to you earlier on, if you press the fire button and hold, and then push up, if you watch the Atlantis icon that we're holding at the bottom, it's going to change to metal pipe or chisel. So we've only got a metal pipe. So I'm just going to show you on screen where there's a switch here because you've got to look out for these. So, if you can see just there, it's like a little mouth. That's a hole. You can see the pad for the spikes. So you need the metal pipe shoved in the hole which disables this trap. So that's what we'll do now. Just click across the bottom of the screen so that's disabled so the spikes won't work. Look. Not there. Keep searching. Found a blood shield there. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run straight past all these lock. Jump up here, flip these two switches. See rumble across the bottom, so that's opened another area. If you look here, right in front of me, we need this pole on again. Metal pipe, shove it in the hole. Disables them up top there, look. Found a mundane skull. Around here somewhere. There we go, got one now look. Oh, we've got the ladders. Oh, that'll look you, won't it? <laughs> if I read that, oops. Let's put those Atlantis token on. And I still can't read it at the minute. You can see these knights here, can't you, with the shields that they've got. That's that blood shield that we picked up. So the blood shield. Put it on there. See if there's ops to pick up there. Nope. We've got the Book of Atlantis, so I imagine that's going to allow us to read now. And if you look there in front of me, stuff there, we need a metal bar again. There's a round flint there. Let's read that. What happens if we fall down there? Alright! Ah, I've done that before, you know, I never... Never saw that switch before there when I've been playing it before. So that just takes us a bypass around the corner. We need to come back. So we've got this flint on, so we can flip back. And we can switch that. We'll go see what's further on first. Ooh. Atlantis can pass to be on. So I've just got to watch this scorpion now, look. Let's see how he's running over the spikes. Switch down there, look. Let's get past. This part. Wah! You gotta be quick. No! Oh, look okay. We're down. That's it, we've got them down now, look. So if you remember when that other statue, didn't you? It said two, three, one. So flip that. Flip that. 
and flip up. And we can read that. You've got to read these points otherwise it doesn't activate for further on. Can we read that now? No, the same thing in it. Can't go that. Right, let's proceed. Right, so what I learned before when I was playing it is to drop off there on that third lantern there and it drops us onto that platform so I can pick some up from there I think the carving of a spirit with a plinth below it so I we've got a switch there in that wall up so we'll put this thing back on that will bite just activate that Give the power of the moon. Steel pot. Found a broken sword. We've got to do a bit of repetitive stuff now, we've just got to keep going back round and round. I do like it, it is quite good graphically, I like it on the graphics, the colour, the high res colours. Make it a little pop out, it looks really cool. There's a plinth there that we've got to read. So now we've got to drop back down and go back round again because we can't get across. There's some little touchy places where I thought, you know, it could be a little bit improved on, like that plinth with that bridge. I mean, you can't, you can't jump on the bridge on the netting that's there. You'd think someone would come out after you'd read that plinth. Do you know what I mean? Um, so you can just walk on rather than having to drop off and go all the way back round again. Because, because what you've got to do is come. Thing. It's here. So put the steel pole back on because there's a switch there. Look. Give us up to pick up, and then we've got to go all the way back again. There's plenty in there to read. It's just an illusion. Ooh. This music sticks in your head and all after a while. Switching that wall there, and they can see it just there, right in front of him. Look, just by his belt buckle. So that switch that one. Don't think there's all up here. Whew, right, okay. I'll do this bit. Click the switch. Open the door there for us to drop in. Flip the switch. 
flip the switch. Now, I've got a little confession to make. I have put invi invi invincibility on because you just cannot get past this part. I don't know whether there's a switch somewhere. It's on the other side, look. So if you can get through, you can switch it off. But I'm not going to do it. No! It's full of mercury, so if we switch our steel pot on, we'll fill the pot up, so we'll put some mercury into this one. We should be able to put some in that one. <clears throat> and then we've got to go back through here again. So that in itself is very hard to get through, you lose a lot of lives there, hence why I put the invincibility on um, so I can show you guys what to do on this video. Follow that dude. See that doorway is open now for us to go up there. So, that's The Legend of Atlantis by Cytronics. What do you think? Leave me a comment down at the bottom. I'd love to hear from you guys about these games or anything that you want me to do. Video repairs, rep computer repairs, uh, games reviews, anything, you know, just pop it in the bottom. If I can, I'll do that for you. So what did you think of Legend of Atlantis? I really liked it. To me, it feels like a bit like an early Tomb Raider sort of style game where you have to work things out. Um, doesn't really tell you much what to do, you've just got to search. Um, and it also, the engine on this one, it, it made me feel a little bit towards the shadow of Hawks Mill, um, where he's crouching down to pick things up and stuff like that. It felt very much similar to that. So if you enjoyed um, the shadow of Hawks Mill, then you, you're definitely going to love The Legend of Atlantis. I would give this... Um, a good 8 out of 10, possibly 9 out of 10. The music's really good, the graphics are awesome, and the controls, they're very fluid. It, it all worked well. Well packaged up, Cytronics. That's absolutely awesome game. So if you've been enjoying watching this channel, and watching me do the repairs on the computers, um, and the games reviews, please hit the like and subscribe, and hit the little bell as well to be notified for the coming. Well that's it for us this week guys, um, so we'll see you on the next episode, bye!